Losing the loved one is hard, but losing the loved one knowing that they decided to leave you, it leads to a roller coaster of emotions. If you've lost someone to suicide, whether it's a husband, a partner, a brother, or like me, your dad, I'm hoping my honesty in this video will help you. I lied about my dad's suicide. I lied about him taking his own life. Even though he walked in front of a lorry and decided to take his own life, I still told people that he died in a road accident. I was ashamed of saying my dad took his own life. I feared judgment from others. What would people say about me, my family, my dad, if I turned around to them and said, my dad killed himself? I wanted to protect my dad because I didn't want people to label him as weak or crazy because he wasn't. I wanted to protect my family because I felt people would feel like we didn't give my dad enough love, enough support to make him change his mind, to give him a life that he wanted to keep living. Grief is hard, but when you love someone who makes the decision to end their own life, and when someone you love makes the decision to put you through that grief, you don't know what to think. Honestly, when my dad took his own life, I struggled to forgive him. I felt like he didn't love me enough to stay. I blamed myself, I used to get angry, but all in all, I lied about the way that he died because I was ashamed of his decision. I buried it, I didn't want to deal with it, I didn't want to tell people about it. Looking back, that's the only way that I could handle the grief. I didn't tell people that my dad killed himself because I didn't want to make people feel uncomfortable. I didn't want to have to deal with the questions that they were about to ask me. So choosing to say that my dad died in a row accident rather than saying my dad died of depression made those awkward conversations easier. But with time, not being able to forgive him nearly broke me. The anger, the blame, the guilt, the resentment, the silence, it started to eat away at me. And instead of burying it, I started dealing with it, talking about it, and more importantly, I started to forgive him. I started to see why he would do it. I saw why he made that decision. I saw the statistics that suicide is the biggest killer of men under the age of 50 in the UK. And I saw that suicide is also the biggest killer of young people in the UK. I saw that one in four people admit to suffer with depression, but more importantly, I saw that mental health is normal. Mental health struggles should be accepted. I realized that my dad didn't die because he wanted to leave us. I realized that my dad didn't die because of something I said or I didn't say. My dad died from a health condition, not a physical one that I or anyone could spot, a mental one. My dad died of depression. Nine years later, I don't want it to be a secret that my dad took his own life. If more people talked about what leads to suicide, if people didn't talk as if it was shameful, if people understood how quickly and easily depression can take over, then there might be fewer suicides. I'm Paul, I'm 27 years old, and I'm not ashamed to say that my dad took his own life. He was the most amazing dad that I could have ever asked for. And I'm putting this on camera that I will never lie about how he died ever again. If you can relate to this video in any way, I'd love for you to share it. Please tag someone who needs to hear this. And I hope that me talking about this openly will get you talking about it as well. It's time to break the stigma around mental health and realize that it's okay not to be okay. I appreciate you listening.